Hey guys, this is Daniel Gillen from Cato Marketing. I'm going to talk to you today about an issue that many advertisers are having uh, to do with when you're running Facebook lead ads or Google Performance Max campaigns and you're getting a ton of leads, but the problem is the leads, a large proportion of them, sometimes most of them or all of them seem fake. You can be running a campaign targeting the US of A and you're getting really loads of leads from your Facebook lead ad campaign. But, you know, they all have like Indian sounding names or you call them up and they say, I never submitted that form, why are you calling me? And you're like, how is it possible that my ads are generating these people's details? And yet when I call them up, they either don't exist or, or they, they don't know what I'm talking about. Like, how did their information get put into the form? And this is a big problem because even in the best campaign, we're finding that maybe one in 20 leads, sometimes as much as one in 10 of the leads are fake submissions. Uh, but I've even seen accounts, Facebook lead format accounts, where it's like 90% of submissions are fake. And it's become a huge issue uh, because advertiser, advertisers are paying the spend. On paper, it looks like you're doing very successful, that you're getting lots of leads for cheap. Uh, but then when you actually call the leads, they're all junk, they're all fake. And so why is it happening? Well, we at Cato Marketing have been studying this issue uh, and we think we've found out what's going on. Uh, basically what it is, is within Facebook ads, you can choose a placement, right? So your ads can show on Facebook ads, they can show on Instagram, they can show on Messenger, they can show on Reels, and they can also show on the Facebook ad network. What's happened is third-party websites, uh, like spam websites basically, have the Facebook audience network ads showing on their website. And to encourage Facebook to send them more traffic and more money, they pay people in like spam farms to click the ads all the time and not only to click the ads, but when they click the ads to then if there's a form, like fill in the form or go into the website and go to the contact form. And then they either submit their own information or information of other people they've got saved. And so from Facebook eyes, it looks like a totally legitimate uh, submission. But in reality, it's somebody in India being paid a, you know, a dollar an hour or something to fill out a thousands of forms and earn the spam website on a lots of money. Um, so. The, the way to solve that is when you're in Facebook ads, do not use the automated uh, placements. Um, instead, what you want to do is you want to select manual placements and choose all the best ones. So, you know, you choose all the Facebook placements, all the Instagram placements, but you exclude the audience network placements. No audience network placements. The, you know, that's where the junk is coming from. So if you then run your Facebook ad campaign, with that excluded, you, you won't be getting those those junk leads anymore, at least nowhere near as many. It, it's pretty crazy. When you think about the amount of money advertisers are spending uh, to get some of these leads, it's insane. It's probably billions, tens of billions of dollars uh, have been spent uh, and gone to these spam farms in you know, India and other, other countries. Um, so yeah, ideally they would be giving us all refunds on our ad spend, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So the next best thing we can do is make our ad campaign more efficient. So once again, do not run ads on the Facebook audience network. Your normal Facebook placements are fine. Facebook lead formats are still an absolutely fantastic uh, ad format to run. They work really, really well for us and our clients, but there is this issue with spam ads, so you gotta exclude that. And now on Google, we're also seeing a similar thing uh, in that you can be running Google ads. Uh, this one though, you don't really, not many people use Google lead formats, they're not very good. Uh, instead, everybody sends the traffic to a landing page or a website. And if you're running something like a performance max campaign, you'll probably have seen this. You, you, your, landing for, your landing page gets submissions, your conversion rate goes through the rate roof. You know, maybe before you were spending like 20 pounds a lead, $30 a lead, $50 a lead. Now it's $5 a lead, it's looking great. But all the leads are junk. Once again, they're all people with like Indian names or Chinese names. Uh, and you're like, what? I'm marketing in America. Why am I getting all these strange names? Um, and what it is is the same thing. People on the Google Display Network, Spam Farms, uh, Performance Max obviously runs ads not only on Search, but on all the placements that are available. So it shows on the Display Network, and then you're getting those spam submissions. Unfortunately, with Google uh, Performance Max, you can't choose your placements. So all you can do is just don't run Performance Max. Uh, if you're having a problem with spam submissions for your website, turn off the Performance Max campaigns. Uh, unfortunately, that's all you can do. Um, okay, so I'm Daniel Gillow from Kato Marketing. I hope this advice saves you some money today. And if you need help with marketing, reach out to us at Kato Marketing, katomarketing.co.uk. I'm Daniel Gillen, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you.